So 90 degree bends is what we're going to do. We use the hand benders, okay? The hand benders are 15 and 22 mil sizes, okay? That's what it's used for, right? You can get stand benders, um, which will go up to 28 millimeter, and we also have tiny little hand benders for our uh, microbore stuff as well, 12 mil, eight mil, and 10 mil, okay? We're gonna be using these. The components of it are quite simple, and really the use of it's quite simple, except the fact that you feel like you need an extra couple of hands, and that's just about technique and getting used to it. Okay, nothing more than that. First thing we can start with are the legs. Okay, we've got two legs, and whenever we're using it and setting it up, the legs need to be as far apart as possible. So you've got full access into it. You know you haven't got it the right way, because as you can see, it doesn't open up as much the opposite direction. You see that? Okay, so we make sure when we're opening it, we're fully open. Okay, on one side, you'll see there, 15 mil and 22 mil. Okay. When we're using the 15 mil, 15 mil sides up, okay? And when we're doing 22 mil pipe, we swap it round and the 22 mil's up on the other side, okay? Simple as that. We have hooks on the side, okay? That can be a bit of a pain in the ass when it drops off, okay? One side 15, the other side 22, and that holds the pipe in place. So when we actually use the bending machine, the pipe only bends one way on one side okay important to remember that on the sides you can see it's all marked up <clears throat> where my fingers are okay yeah. all right three marks okay they're a guide they're not perfect but they're a guide but what they give us is the top one here is 30 degrees next one is 45 and then the one right around here would be 90 degrees so it gives us visual aid of where roughly we need to get the pipe, okay? But then when we're finishing it off, to get the exact angle to a 90 degree if we're using one of these set square, okay? That's a perfect 90. That's what we'll be using for our pipe on, okay? To gear it up. We have rollers, okay? Generally, they should move, okay? So it gives you a smoother action, all right? They should move, and then separately, You've got these, which are the formers. Okay, the former, 15 mil, 22 mil. You can see, I've got a groove on one edge for the pipe to slot into. Okay, and the job of the former, okay, or the guide rather, is to make sure that the pipe doesn't buckle. Okay, so that must be in place when we're using the machine. Okay, obviously one for 22, one for 15, we'll move the 22 out, because we're concentrating on 15 mil. Now, on your pipe work here, the detail that I'll give you, okay, this is what we're going to start with. It gives us two sets of bends. It's going to give us a 90 degree, then a parallel offset, okay? We're going to start with the 90 degree, do those, and then we'll come back to the parallel offset after and carry on, okay? It's just so we can get used to the machine itself, all right? Anyone give me the length of pipe that I might need for that? 425, that's what we're looking at, all right? 425, that's 125 down the side and 300 down across the top, you see that? Would it not be longer to accommodate for the offset? For the offset, well, here's the thing. Hold that thought. I know you reduce it for the bend, but. Hold that thought because um, we're putting a 90 degree into it, okay? So something happens with that, we get a little bit of grow, and then we've got parallel offset, which means it's gonna come back to us a touch as well, okay? So hold that thought as we go through it, I'll explain it. Right. So we're looking at a piece of pipe, 425 mil long. And anyone that knows Big Peter, here's one I did earlier. All right, Big Peter, there's one for the belt. youngsters, eh? All right, so 425 mil long. Middle of my first bend is what distance? Have a look at the drawing. So that gets 25. Middle of my bend. What did it say? 125. 125, does everyone agree with that? No, it's not the middle, so it's about one. 125 to the middle of the pipe, yeah? Oh, going across. Yeah. No, 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 to the, Sorry, yeah. going across. Yeah, 125. Well, Everyone see that? Happy yeah. that? Yeah. All right. All right, so first measurement, 125 on my pipe. One, two, five. I'm going to use a um, permanent marker so it's easier for you lot to see. Pencil is fine. All right. 
Why I did with that is I took it all the way around. Okay? Because when I put it into my machine, as I twist it to get it into position, it just means I can see my mark all the way around. Okay? So get used to doing that. It's a habit of mine. <coughs> what side did I mark it from? Measure from? No, no. That side, yeah? Now, because I measured from that side, it means I must put that out through the hook. Okay? It has to go out through the hook. All right? And the reason behind that is as I bend the pipe, we'll get a little bit of grow on it. Okay? Not magic or anything like that. It doesn't really grow. We're just cutting off the corner of it. Okay? And because of that, we want that to go to the wastage end. Okay? Because we're looking for an exact measurement. All right? So from wherever I've measured from, has to then go out from the hook. All right? Hook up, hold the pipe in place with the hook over the top, okay? As soon as you let go, the hook generally will drop out, okay? That's when you start thinking you need a few extra ends. Hold it in, take your guide and slide it in behind the roller, okay? So you end up with that situation. And if you then pull the legs, together without going too much because we don't want to start a bend at this point okay then it'll all hold in place all right as soon as you move it the hook falls out have you put your line in line with anything not at the moment no, no. we're ahead of the game i like that <laughs> hold on <laughs> all right so up in hold it in place okay now the format that we use for a 90 degree is spare pipe okay spare pipe any piece of pipe, doesn't matter how long it is, rather not three meters, very awkward to do this. Okay. Keep it a little bit less. And what I'm looking for is to put that pipe inside the opposite so I make a T. See that? Okay. When I do that T, what I'm looking for is in there to be 90 degrees. Okay. Now, if my straight cut on my pipe, both edges are touching here, okay, then it will be a 90 degree. What I mean by that, if I move that in like that, and you can see, you can see it's not touching both sides of that pipe, therefore I've not got a 90 degree angle. You see that? Yeah. Right? So if I bring that in like that, touching both edges, okay, 90 degree angle. Does everyone see that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm looking for now is my line that I marked at 125 to be dead center of that pipe, okay? Right, you can see the value now of taking the line all the way around, mm. because when I spin it to bring it further forward, it means I always see where my line is, okay? Now it's in the right place, pop your heads over and just have a look, make sure you are comfortable with that. And if the pipe legs weren't open completely, that would change. Exactly right, so for instance, if we had it loosened off, okay, and that was loose, you would see how much difficult it is to get it in the right place, yeah? So you have to have hook on, leg squeezed, and then that's in there, okay? And if I want to double check that, I'll make sure that we've got a 90 degree there. All right? Everyone happy with that, yeah? Okay. Once I'm at that point, that's it. It's set up, ready to go. That comes out, and then what we do, is we pull the legs together and bend the pipe. Now what I'm looking for as a guide is my 90 degree mark that is right at the bottom. See that? Okay, that's my 90. Okay, so what I'll be looking for is to bring it round to that point because I know then I'm getting close to my 90 degree. Now if I put that up now, what do we think visually? Does it look 90? No. Okay. I will come round here. Yeah. You don't have to lean over so you fall over. Yeah, it looks 90 now, doesn't it? Looks think that looks 90? Yeah. 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 You've seen the line as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a full 90, is it? What do we think? Oh, no, it's not. No, no, you turn it out like it's definitely not. Oh, look, that yeah, yeah, old sorry, chestnut. Right. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> It right. looks, you was holding it wonky, that's what it was. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, of course it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now, what I need to do is check that it's going to be a 90. Okay, use my square. How I do this, see the back edge of this? Okay, that back edge and that side will be square. Okay, when I pull it round enough. So I line up the 
can't see from that side, come around this side. I'm just going to be able to pull this round. See if I can stand it up and do it. There we go. All right, if I put that in now, okay? And what I'm looking for is for this pipe to be going up exactly with that, okay? It's not quite there, it's away, isn't it? All right? Not quite there. So, in that case, it's another little squeeze. Now, personally, okay, this is a personal thing, I prefer to do, I prefer to go over a degree or so from the 90. That's too far, right? Not too little, which would be that angle, yeah? Too far, just a touch, so I can squeeze it back out a bit because what it does is it opens up the throat. When I take this out, you'll see that the throat gets squashed a little bit. A squeeze out means it opens up the throat, allows the gas, in our case, to go through much smoother. Okay, so let me get that somewhere near 90 and then we'll take it out and have a look. Right. It's about perfect, okay? So I'm going to just squeeze it a touch so I'm a little bit over. Always remember as well when you're doing a 90 degree, okay? Make sure you can hear me. Yeah. When you're doing a 90 degree, is that once you set it in here with the legs tight, okay, the pipe is sprung. As soon as you loosen it, it will try to force back a bit. So you will lose a degree or so, which is another reason to go over a touch, okay? Now, if I'm happy and I think I'm thereabouts, just a little tip for you. Take your pen and mark just at the back edge my warmer. See that? So in case I have to go back in. Exactly right. If I have to put this back in because I haven't done enough, I haven't judged it correctly, then that point tells me exactly where to put it back in so it's easy for me to carry on. Okay? So just a little bit of help. I'll take that out now, pop it out, sit it up now, and if we put it there, let's turn it around so it stays up on its own. There we go, we can just see, see I've just gone a touch too far. See that? Just so you can see over there. <coughs> See that? Just you, a touch. You only do this when it's 90 degrees? Or only a 90 degree degrees? for the spare pipe. There's a different technique for the parallel offsets and the other ones and we'll break them down individually. Okay, so this is only for a 90. And I've written it up on the board over here. Okay, so if you have any, any <coughs> doubts, just go and have a look at the board and you'll see it all up on there. Now, because I've gone over a touch, I'm just gonna squeeze that back out again. Okay, and you can see now I've brought it back into position. Okay, all right. So perfectly back in position again. If you look at here, just see the throat in of the pipe, okay, where it's formed on the bed. Now we'll come around, all right, just see where it goes in a little bit, okay. What that does is it squeezes flat the pipe a touch. That little pull opens that throat back out and allows the gas then to move around much smoother. Okay. <coughs> Once I'm happy with that, what I've got to do then is make sure that it's the right distance. And it should be, how long? 125.2, centre of pipe. Okay. So, two edges. Put your ruler across and you can see what it does. Is it just puts a line straight down the middle of the pipe. See that? All right, scratch line straight down makes it easier for me to measure. Yeah, see the scratch line straight through the middle? Okay, what I'll do then, slide that up so the edge is right on my scratch line and then it extends past, it just makes it easier for me then to measure on there. And I'll put that on there and what's that say? 125. 125. And what should it be? Relief. Really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 125 to the centre. Remember that, okay? We're talking about centre of pipes. Whenever we do measurements, it's centre pipe. Okay? That's my 90 degree. Okay? Now, if I measure it the opposite way, up through there, what have we got there? Have a quick look over your shoulder. What should it be? 300. 300. Should be 300, and what have I got? 32. Yeah? Yeah. 320. Yeah. All right, 
that's the 20 mil brogue, okay? I've got it the right side because when I put it in, I put my measured end out through the hook, okay? It's gonna grow, not because I've stretched the copper or anything like that, but it's taken the racing line, okay? Rather than going up into the corner and across, it's cut the corner. Do you get what I mean by that, yeah? Does, right. it, only, does it only grow on a line? Only to an extent where we need to worry about it, okay? What we will do is once we do a parallel offset, by going up at a 45 degree angle and coming back down, we'll actually bring reduce that back. It. We'll reduce it, exactly. Right. So you'll end up with the correct length when you do it. But we'll get to the parallel offset once we've all had a go at this one. Okay. Okay. Um, any questions? So the full turn is 90, but half the turn is like 45. Yeah, so these, these marks here, okay, you've got a 30 degree, 45 and a 90, okay? So we'll keep an eye on those. They're guides. Because these move, see how that moves? It means it's never going to be absolutely spot on. I can't turn around and say it's going to be spot on if you stop here because that's always got a bit of movement in it. What it's there for is visually for you to get an idea of where you're at and then we'll use either square for the 90, okay, or for the 45, okay, 135. Everyone happy with that, yeah? Yep. So what I want you to do is Grab the machine, clear the decks, all right, so you've got enough. So get the burners and things like that off the tables, put them back into your bags, put the bottles away. We'll come back to soldering and that lot. As soon as we're getting the bending right, I want you to drop back into soldering because it's important to keep practicing. Yeah. Okay, very important to keep doing that. But in the meantime, grab the bending machine. Any questions, just ask.